Hello and welcome to a Black Talk Radio News commentary. My name is Scotty Reed, broadcasting from behind the enemy lines of USA Inc. I want to take a moment to just discuss the minimum wage increase, which shouldn't even be a controversial issue, but it is very controversial here in the United States. So the federal minimum wage is about $7.25 an hour, and it has been that way for over a decade, but yet prices still going up. You know, um, the guy in New York who was running for a political office was talking about the rent is too damn high. And he is exactly right. So today I came across an image that really speaks volumes to this issue. And I think that the discussion around minimum wage should also be viewed as a raising the minimum wage as a crime fighting tool. Let me share a screen for those that's watching the video. Let me share this screen with you. Um, I came across this image today. Ten years, rent has skyrocketed, but the minimum wage has remained the same. And it is in support of Bernie Sanders, who is one of the most well-known advocates for increase in the minimum wage. So in 2009, the average rent in whatever city they were looking at, although, you know, they do have average uh, rent statistics nationwide. But in 2009, uh, average rent might be, may have been $690 a month. And the minimum wage was $7.25. In 2019, just two years ago, the average monthly rent was $933. 2019 minimum wage, of course, was $7.25. Now, let's say that you're working full-time, only making 700, I mean, excuse me, $7.25 an hour. Now, if your rent goes up or any of your utilities go up, but your pay doesn't go up, what are you going to do? Are you just going to allow yourself to be homeless and thrown out in the street? Well, I guess some people end up that way, but most people, I suspect, will try to supplement their income. Some people choose to work two and three other jobs. Other people choose to try to work from home. And some of those work from home jobs is, guess what? Selling drugs, prostitution, or sex work. And it, that's just, that people want to talk about crime is high in these areas. Well, these areas are mostly impoverished where people are only making $7.25 an hour. I mean, $15 an hour isn't a wage that a person could live on in most states, in every state in the United States. $15 an hour uh, still, even if you're working 40, 40 hours a week, you will not be able to afford to live, you know, uh, with all the basic needs that one a human being would have. So I think we ought to frame the conversation around $15 an hour as a crime fighting tool. Just a thought. Thank you for watching. If you think this um, is constructive information, then please share it. Also, please continue to support the production of independent Black media. Make a tax-deductible donation today to the Black Talk Media Project, and you can do that via blacktalkradionetwork.com. Peace and blessings to all.